previously on Karen Puzzles. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God, I swear I blinked and another three hours went by. I officially have two of the 12 wedges almost entirely filled in. I honestly think I might be able to finish all of the wedges today. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually gonna do it. Okay, well, uh, I finished the outer circle. <laughs> All right, this is it. After spending seven days taking this puzzle from a big pile of pieces to finishing the easy part of this puzzle, now it is finally time to take on that giant purple sky. Oh my God, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, fine. After 34 hours of puzzling, I guess, I guess I'll finally do the edges. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this. I think they accidentally left on a printing mark. I think that's where the puzzle is cut and it just barely made it into the actual puzzle. I love stuff like that. Okay, um, I've worked on the edge for about an hour and a half now. I'm definitely making progress, but I am having a lot of false fits and I'm really just having trouble finishing this up. So here's what I'm gonna do. Instead of sitting here for another like hour, just moving things back and forth, I have another strategy in mind. Okay, I'm gonna grab these pieces and I'm gonna grab these pieces. And that's gonna give me a second layer on each of these edge sections. And so that'll give me more confirmation that these pieces are actually correct. And then once I have the full double layers finished, then I can actually get them um, out on the board. But keeping them here just on this smaller piece of foam board, it means I don't have to keep walking around the entire board.
Oh my god, forget everything I said about those words that I did in the first video. Um, this is by far the hardest part of this puzzle. I just spent so many hours on this and I didn't even finish because these aren't all connecting to each other. I'm sure that I have a lot of false fits in here because I've just been rearranging so many pieces over and over and over again. Part of the problem is that it's really uh, cloudy today, so I don't have great light right now. So it's really hard to see the difference between like the black pieces and then like the light purple pieces. Also, I literally just noticed, um, I think this piece is not right because those lines weren't quite lining up. Maybe it's this one instead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that looks better. You have to really like look at it as close as possible to see if the lines are like even the teeniest, tiniest little bit off. Like, oh my god, that one I think is wrong too. That's a little bit off. So I had a vision. I was gonna just like do the edge, end up with these perfect rectangles and then cut to a wide shot and just arrange them beautifully all around the puzzle. That is not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna get the ones where I know for sure where they go, like uh, this one, which just connects down here. I'm gonna get those in place and then just kinda leave the rest scattered around in this general area and then I need to move on. I need to work on something else. Alright, well, I still have a lot of work to do rearranging the edge, but I'm gonna change tactics and instead I'm gonna work on these galaxies. There's only four galaxies, so a lot fewer pieces. It should be a lot easier. Alright, so I finished uh, the galaxies. I mean, not all of the pieces, but these are looking pretty good. And of course, there's the one all the way over there. <laughs> so even though it's only, what, like 2 p.m., I think? Nope, it is 2.41. <laughs> so even though I still have plenty of time this afternoon, the puzzling today has been so difficult. I am so tired. So instead of doing any more puzzling, here's what I'm gonna do. I am just going to take this big box and I'm going to resort all of these pieces. So one category will be pieces with stars or lines on them, which make up the constellations. The next category will be pieces uh, without stars or lines on them. I mean, yellow stars, not these little like twinkly stars. And then the reason I'm doing this now is because I want to put together all of the symbols, but I know that a lot of the symbol pieces got mixed in here with all of these. So uh, I'm basically also going to be sorting these out so I can do these tomorrow.
All right, that took about an hour to sort out and I look at this tray and I just, I can't, I truly cannot, I cannot. <laughs> it's really heavy too. Um, I'm gonna put this over here and this is the last batch of pieces we're gonna be looking at. I do have this pile of pieces. Uh, some of them are gonna fit into the middle here. Some are uh, the symbols that I was talking about, but I, I'm done for the day. I can't, that was just a lot of very difficult puzzling that I did today. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday was kind of a tough puzzling day. I was getting pretty discouraged. I feel like we need to start off today with a win. So I have all these pieces, which I pulled out yesterday as I was sorting through all the pieces. These are going to fit into the middle where I'm just missing a handful of pieces. It's gonna be so satisfying. Let's get those in place. Here we go, that is another wedge entirely finished. I finally found the very last piece of my fish. So this one is also completely done, um, except for that piece, which I feel like should have turned up by now. I'm getting a little worried. There we go, the lion is completely finished as well. All right, so today's goal is to finish this box. Here we have the blue pieces that keep going around this outline, and we have all of the symbols. So that is uh, these four in the corner, and then all of these floating guys. And this is truly the moment of truth, because there are a handful of missing pieces in the middle of the puzzle that definitely could not be mistaken for the starry sky pieces. So this box is my last hope to find those. And if I don't, then they will officially be missing. Although I already spotted one that I was missing. So that is giving me hope for all the rest. <laughs> Okay, two seconds in and I found another one of my missing pieces. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, this box is my last shot to find that one last blue missing piece. Um, well, I mean, I'll keep checking the floor. But I think I have to resign myself that this piece is in fact missing. I mean, it happens. I just have to keep puzzling and just be really sad. Well, that took me about two hours to finish all of these symbols, which is honestly um, not as long as I thought it was going to take. That actually went together pretty fast. Oh, but big news when I was working on this, I put in the last missing piece from this inner ring. So those are now completely finished. All that's missing are these star pieces in the center. Oh man, that was a lot of very difficult puzzling, but I think I've gotten the puzzle to a really good point. So far, we are up to 46 hours and 36 minutes. So to all of you in the comments of the last video, guessing that it would take uh, 46 hours to finish the entire thing, I think you <laughs> underestimated the difficulty of the rest of this puzzle. <laughs> like literally yesterday, I had to take out my phone flashlight just to see the most subtle color differences between the edge pieces so I could try to get those sorted out. Honestly, there's still a couple in here that I'm a little iffy about, but at least I have the complete edge now, so I can just move forward for now. I can always rearrange later. So, okay, let's look back again to 2009. Um, we left off with me 
not quite having enough space to put together the entire circle on my bedroom floor. So you're probably wondering, Karen, what did you do? What a dilemma. Well, what I did was I moved the entire thing on foam board out to another room in the house where I did have space to lay the entire thing out. So you can see I had actually put together all of the galaxies and symbols in the box tops. So I'm sure it was so satisfying when I finally got to lay the entire thing out. And I've gotten a couple questions asking me like how much I remember from the first time that I did it. And honestly, like not much. There were a few sections, like when I was working on these symbols just now, when I was getting like flashbacks to the first time. But for the most part, it just feels like a familiar image. I don't remember a lot of the details. I don't remember if I had as much trouble with the edge as I did this time. Most of what I remember is actually outside of the puzzle. So I was also doing a graphic design internship for Charity Water. I was taking the bus into New York City three times a week. I was 18. This is the first time I had spent any real time alone in the city. And you would think I would want to go out and explore the city. But no, um, every single day, even the days where they let me out a little earlier in the afternoon, I would just get the bus straight home just so I could go home and work on the puzzle. <laughs> So, okay, these are the only pieces that are left. A handful of pieces that I pulled out for various reasons, all the constellations and this mountain of purple and black pieces. I did a few uh, calculations in Photoshop and all of this makes up about 2,300 pieces. So about a quarter of this puzzle is literally just sky. I have officially done all of the easy parts, but honestly, like I'm looking at these pieces and you guys, I can't, I can't, I truly cannot. Looking at all these pieces just makes me want to run away to Alaska. <laughs> an entire state park after a drag queen. I'm back. So that's where I was for the past uh, week and a half. I was actually in Alaska on a family vacation with my family. <coughs> now, unfortunately for a little uh, Instagram versus reality, 
a few days into the trip, I got really, really sick. I was coughing all over the place. I still have um, a bit of a cough. I missed so much stuff on the trip. Like there was this glacier walk that I was supposed to do and I was just so sick in bed that day that only Katie went. I couldn't even go, but I'm back home now. Um, I'm starting to feel better. I've literally been sleeping like 12 hours a night and I feel like literally the only thing that I can do right now is work on a puzzle. Luckily, <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm just going to work on all of the constellations today. I probably won't be updating you as much just because I'm still so sick. But let's see how much I can get done today, <laughs> even being as sick as I am. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Also just noticed while I was sitting here that I have another piece that is in the wrong spot. Uh, sure enough, you can see that one it doesn't quite line up either. There we go, so much better. All right, I'm gonna have to double check every inch of this puzzle before I finish it up. man I don't know if it's because I'm still sick but today it was a struggle these constellations are so hard <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, so it is day 11 of the giant puzzle. So the previous day that I filmed was Saturday. It is now Tuesday and I'm already feeling so much better. So if you're down in the comments um, trying to like diagnose me, please don't. I, I'm going to be totally fine. So I was looking at the time card and... Um, I realized that the previous day that I worked on it when I was so sick was actually the longest puzzling day that I've had so far. I worked on it for eight hours. That is crazy. I should not have done that. I was so wiped out on Sunday. <laughs> but let me give you a close up of what I've done because I know a lot of it just happened really quickly in the time lapses. So even after working on it for eight hours, I still didn't finish all of the constellations. These are really hard. You can see by the end, I really just started pairing pieces together to make all of these stars. And I also started working off of those stars, making... Um, little sections here on the board. And I really should have done this more. It's a lot easier to just sort of be on the board, have everything in one place and make these sections and then look at the picture and figure out where it's gonna go rather than working directly on the board and just trying to build it out piece by piece. Like this took forever. Uh, another strategy that I had that I didn't really show uh, the other day is that these lines connecting the stars are different thicknesses. So I started with the thickest lines. Like if we look at this piece compared to that, you can see how different they look. So all of these guys at the top have pretty thick lines and that's how I was able to get all of this done. So I'm still gonna have another one in there, another one down here, and then I have to finish up this side as well. But now that I have a lot fewer pieces left, it should go a lot more quickly. I'm excited to finish this up. It should be a beautiful day out. So I'm gonna go open all the windows. Let's do it. <laughs>
All right, so that took exactly three hours to finish the constellations, which means it was over 11 hours of just the constellations. And they're looking good, but I did run into a few issues. So over at the bottom here, uh, you can see how this constellation is connecting to the edges. Well, this piece uh, doesn't fit there, so something in these edge pieces is gonna have to get rearranged. And then up at the top, this symbol actually also connects to the edge, except that the little bits of the symbol ended up over on the other side of the puzzle. So again, I'm gonna have to keep rearranging the edge pieces. So if we look back at 2009, uh, you can see that I did the constellations just like this. I'm basically doing this puzzle in the exact same order that I did back then. And I wasn't really sure, but these photos are proof. I was definitely having trouble with the edge back then as well. So, okay, I have a couple pieces left with little tiny bits of a design on them, but then all of the rest of the pieces are just black and purple. Honestly, I look at those pieces and I just want to run away to Hawaii. Oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> no, I'm not going to Hawaii, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but I am going to wrap up this video right here. Originally, I was thinking that I was gonna finish this puzzle in this video, but with being out of town and then being sick and then the sky taking way longer than I expected, I just need to take a break from it for a little bit. So I'm gonna post part four in just a couple weeks. Okay, so, so far my total time is 57 hours and 43 minutes. So if anyone would like to amend their guess from the previous video, feel free to do that down in the comments. I'll give two shout outs in the final video. Whoever guesses the closest time from each comment section. Okay, um, I'm feeling a lot better, but I'm not 100% yet, so I'm gonna go keep recovering. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for being here, and stay tuned to find out how I'm possibly gonna tackle all of this sky.